Oh, okay. Now we wait. Now uh, that was a short distance. We teleported. Oh, that's why you can rocket jump over here, Cand. <laughs> Explains a lot. Really? Yeah, it's the next level. That's why. Man, that's next level technology right there. I know. <laughs> oh. Oh no! Did you did you fall off? No, it kicked me again. Are you joking? I am not joking. I'll try and come back in one more time. If it doesn't work, then uh, I guess uh, rip. Go on about me and enjoy the BFG. I'll tr try and join one more time. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do the same thing we did last time. Oh. Splits the level, blitz the level. Nope. Okay, well, uh, now we have another solo commentary part again. <sighs> How are you doing, Ken? A little frustrated. Butt-straighted? Butt-straighted. That's Shit, cool. dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. The open co-op mod is not what I'd call, I guess, bug-free, but... I don't know. We I mean, I want to play the game. We've already learned. Apparently the game gets easier when you're not here, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah, because it does a thing where, um... It does the scaling damage thing, so there's two people that does... You do half damage, I think. Oh, okay. Or enemies have... I don't know. Some shit. There was a zombie just standing in the, like, the end of a dark corridor here. He wasn't... He just wasn't doing a thing. All right, kids. Welcome to the Doom Free Podcast. <laughs> I'm your host, Mike Lant. I'm his guest star, Canned. Canned Lat. I dare you say that to me. Trigger's laughing at me. It's not very nice. <laughs> it happened to Ken. He's a big bully. Whenever I get kicked out, Trigger laughs at you. <laughs> and he goes, "Your friends will be with me now." All right, um, I have another PDA here with no audio log, so it's okay. You can keep doing whatever. All right. Two five nine. Two five nine. Yeah. We got shit from a, from a locker. Oh look, I'm in central <laughs> access, and this guy doesn't notice me. What the fuck? One of the one of the imps just kind of ran at me. I'm uh, sorry, he jumped at me around a corner. But he, he missed me entirely. Oh, that reminds me of one thing I was going to mention. And now's a good time as any. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I noticed people talking about, like, the gravity gun nonsense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, how it's like... I think what it actually was is that the devs had that tool. It was a tool the devs used. They used it to make the levels. Um... Or they place things in the levels, rather. I don't think like so. Props. No, no, no I, I'm, I swear I heard this somewhere. So technically they had it, but it wasn't a game. Uh, okay, there's a, a new monster here. Hell Knight? No, it's um. Oh, fuck. What's it? What are they called? The ones that 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 when they look at you. The, the, they, they used to do that, a fire attack that you'd have to basically be behind a, a, build, uh, a, a wall, an object. Arcvile. Arcvile, yeah. Except they doesn't seem to actually do that shit anymore. Have fun with that. Well, the Arcvile did that because it was a sprite game. But I guess Free Day, they trying to do it something different. Uh, yeah, he seems to just spawn more imps. <laughs> Which is kind of lame, actually. Spooky. He ran away, fortunately. But just my stance on the whole gravity gun thing is that Doom Free had it first, but it didn't have it as a game feature first. Well, okay, no, no, they they they, they made it because okay, here's my thing. Uh, Half Life Two was a physics engine, right? Like it's that's the that's their main thing. Like they had a big thing about the physics about it, and so you know I don't really care if Doom Three did it first. They couldn't figure out a way to incorporate any kind of tool like that in the game. Uh, I don't think they. I, it doesn't really make much sense to me that they had it to basically just move shit around in the world, but you know, even if they did, fine, you know, I'll give you that one, but still, they didn't use it as a game feature, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean, like, it took Half-Life coming out to go like, oh wait, that, we have something like that. 
So I would Can still say. That? A, I would still yeah. say Half Life did it first. Yeah, definitely. I'm not saying I'm not saying Doom Three did it first, but I'm saying that Doom. I, I think Doom Three did have that in it, just not as a game feature. At least that's what I think. I could be wrong. I, I went to the vents. I'm safe now. Okay, good. And I think by virtue of the fact I don't actually recall where I heard that, I could be wrong. I just heard a, someone go interesting. Uh, yeah, I now feel like I missed something back there. God damn it! Rip. Uh, you know, as I said, it's it's um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rag on Doom because I don't think it's a bad game, but it's Half Life Two is better, and they came out at roughly the same time. So, you know, the two games I've been playing Half Life Two and Doom Three, but that doesn't mean Doom Three is a bad game. Oh, he did his fire attack. Actually, he's doing it right now, his little fire attack. Man, I wish you were here to see that cool anime. Oh, also, yeah, look, look at all the fun I'm not having. <laughs> also, there was, there was nothing there where I, where I went back to, so nothing but lo losing health. The best thing. I don't know. You know, as I said, it. I, I guess... I guess I don't really know. Um, I, I, I am looking forward to Doom 4. Unfortunately, there's going to be no co-op mod for that. Oh, here's a guy. Uh, One sec. You surprised me. I'm glad to see you. I would have hoped they would have sent more than just one guy, though. I've been studying one of the specimens we brought back to see if there's something physiological that would be a weakness, a way to stop them. I found nothing so far. Is it safe? Enough time. No. I'm going to stay here and keep looking. It's the only thing I can do. There are combat supplies in the storage cabinet in the next room. The code is 624. 624. Uh, you can use it. Okay, 624, can't. Oh, here we go. 64. 624. 624. Oh, here we go. Okay. Anyways, continue. Wait, what am I missing? Um, what great uh, item? Uh, BFG ammo. And more BFG oh, ammo. Oh, I saw in the middle of use it anyway. Uh, it's fine. Well, he's this guy is like taking apart an imp right now, so I'm probably gonna kill him. He could be working for them. I'm gonna stay here and keep working. Uh, yeah, it's probably safe to kill him. Yep. All right. That's what I'd do doing. if I was there. <laughs> you can be such a dick in this game. Hey, man. Like when I realized you could kill those guys with no repercussions, I thought, why not? I, I I may I may have not. Okay, I probably should have gone this way. First. I didn't explore the rest of that room. I didn't. Oh god, another one. All right, that. I just think of all the secrets he's missing about me there. Ah, that BFG has a uh, quite a bit of punch. I'll say that much. It's <laughs> quite a punch. Man. Oh look, there's some, uh, there's a spine on the table. Why? Eat it. I already did, well, eat the spine? That's disgusting, Can't. Why? Hey, it's video game logic, like... Dude, you don't even know like, video game logic no, until you played Fallout. Do, do, do Admittedly, you, do I got some of this logic from fucking Cadlos, Skyrim. Where if you pick something up, you eat it. Okay, I have to tell you something about Fallout, okay? The video game logic, yeah. I went into the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, one second, there's a movie. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first teleporter tests originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. 
Okay, so this is an imp stasis chamber room. Uh, whatever. We download you. All right. Anyways, I was talking about Fallout. So I went to the Brotherhood of Steel, and uh, I they have weights there, and so uh, when you try and use the weights, it's like oh, like it's like you can't like I have no time for that. However, if you go to the doctor, pay a couple thousand caps to raise your strength attribute, and you have to wait like three weeks for to heal, that's fine. <laughs> rather than doing things the natural way, you would rather do like fucking invasive surgery. That's very Sounds about player. right. Alright, there's a guy here. Man, that, that new Vegas. Alright, someone wants me to unlock this thing. Don't kill him. No. He died by him. Okay, well, it's sort it's Rip Jacob Simmons. Alright. Uh, there's... They're talking about how there's power outages here all the time. Oh, look, and 371 is a locker code. And no audio log, so we're good to go. Alright. So tell me more about video games. I'm just reading up on shit about Doom Free. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what are you reading and up I'm on? I'm finding out a bunch of secrets that I want to... And touch later. Activate conveyor. Oh, uh, I like I like this part actually. This is kind of <laughs> cool. Sorry, just a bit of trip for Doom Free. After receiving the pistol, you can kill the civilian working on the crane. Oh shit! But why? Why would you do such a thing? It's not taking into account that your bare fist you can kill people. Oh god, oh god! Oh god! Rip. I picked up a plasma gun and it fucking... It, it... Dick move, it brings like the... The, the entire thing down. <laughs> I'm like, oh god. <laughs> I wish you were here, Ken. Great. Send me a postcard. I need another, I need another guy from the conveyor. Really? I, I gotta I got manually... No, I... I don't have to... What the fuck? Oh, stuck in a puzzle. It's not a puzzle, it's just like horribleness of darkness, you know? And I gotta wait for these, these fucking, mm, that sweet imp ass to go. Uh, can I get a zoom and enhance on sweet imp ass? Uh, no, because he's now blocking my way. So no, you can't. Damn. Alright. Here we go. Da 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 da. Alright. I think we're good. Haha, uh -huh. you your friend. Can't get me here, I'm behind here. Alright, time to actually see where the fuck I'm going. Oh, we can go up here. Oh, look, health and shit. Oh, uh, there's a. Oh, I had a locker code for this. Uh. 371. Oh, cool. Oh, no plasma ammo? Okay, I guess I'll have to use it manually. Wow, I'm just- I'm looking up all of these like, like, oh, fun facts about Doom Free, just- This is the most inane, useless shit. Well- They're like, hmm, well, development, it was this, and it was fun, and- oh, fuck Stupid. Fuck this noise. One second, I'm going to where the light is, I'm just gonna let them come to me. I decided, I decided I had enough of this game's shit with the darkness, and I decided to just trigger the ball and then run to where the light was. <laughs> the idea is you're supposed to you're supposed to follow that stupid ass thing around, but like then they encourage you to explore, you know, because there's like shit like this here. So you know these things come really too too fucking slow, to be honest. I'm not I'm not waiting around. Here. Oh, what the hell? Okay. The, the imp in the in the fucking cylinder thing just hurt me. What a dick. I hate that guy. Meanwhile, we are playing the game. <laughs> the imp is my new co-op partner. Nice. Because he's doing exactly what he's doing. Have fun going to hell. 
Uh, well, it's flashlight. Yeah. But I can confirm that the devs used the gravity gun. I quote, They created a pristine room and then used the gravity gun to fucking ruin the room. To make it look realistically damaged. Rather okay. than crafting one that just damaged. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's realistic. Yeah, totally. Play that, that confirms it. Fucking <laughs> seriously? A trap within a trap, and they they auto aim around the corners for me. So it's like, oh, you're gonna take damage no matter what. Oh, there isn't another one. They, they had a they had a aim trap inside an aim trap where they both come out and fucking prounce you. It was annoying what as shit. You see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Q. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed, and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event, according to what we've been able to decode from stone tablets found throughout the ruins. What clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic, as evidenced by Yuan's strange characteristics. Efforts to further examine Yuan have been futile, Mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification of the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technologies that make up you one. Okay. It's all about the... the fucking... soul cube. Remember, kids, if you want to play Doom Free Co-op, I can't really recommend this mod now, can I? There's nothing wrong with it, you're just being whiny. God. Well, there was another co-op mod, but it wasn't an alpha, but I didn't expect it would randomly kick canned all the time. I think the reason we didn't use the other one was we looked it up and people were saying that this one was better for the campaign. Whoops. And here we are. Yeah, whatever. Oh. You may be a winner. Uh, I hope you find this email. I've hidden my true name and address by disguising the email. Okay. That, they have a Martian buddy uh, email, and fuck, I keep pressing 2, which is going to my pistol. It says, I believe your findings are correct. So the guy sends an email with a, with a subject line and from, from Martian buddy. And uh, volunteer for five, 25 extra credits per month. Wow, that's not a lot. And they're saying that the, the Soul Cube is a weapon and must be charged with at least five deaths. Huh. And the more you know. I've already watched both those movies. So the Soul what Cube. What do you see I wonder how many deaths per minute that is. At least five. Okay, there's locker code 666. Really? Oh yeah, open that. Oh, there's a... Open I got, up. I, I, have a, I have an audio thing. So I'll keep this a weapon. One sec. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion that the device is... Okay, never mind, one second. I have to restart that, because, um... Okay, they just did a dick thing. They had an imp in a locker. I'm not joking. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I opened the locker, and fucking he pops out. Asshole. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna go listen to this again. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bowman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. 
Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. You know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge in another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I've only deciphered about mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paperweight. End of lock. All right, done. What do you see? Nice. Logs are real. Oh, look, another end. Oh. World's dude? first uh, part co-op, part single player. Let's play. <laughs> well, we'll start a trend. Trust me. Oh man, I can't wait for Red Spray gets a ring of this. Ring? No, no. I can't English. Don't tell them, please. I, it's I, a secret. I, I, don't, I don't take well the criticism. I'll be so upset. No, I don't, I don't give a fuck. You can't pretend to not want to get Red Spray. Yeah, everybody wants to. We all love them. Uh, and I got another PDA here and nothing. Elizabeth McNeil. Uh, there's a locker. There's two locker codes that this this person has, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'll read through them when I can. Well, okay. When I when I actually need it. A storage code. Okay. So let's look at this one for fuck. No. Open the PDA. Uh, seven two five. All right. Seven two five. Yeah. Uh, there's a locker code here. Oh fuck, it's a Martian buddy one. Okay, what's the code? I don't remember the code. Fuck. Fuck. What, what do I hey. pay what do I pay you for? God. I'll find it. I'm already looking it up. Uh, I hate you. Zero five zero eight, what? Wait one sec. Yeah, zero zero five zero eight, right? Yeah, what the fuck? There's no, there's not that many zeros. Oh, I see. Zero, five, zero, eight. That's so fucked up. It doesn't do that thing. Oh, I got another BFG, really? Martian buddy has access to that kind of tech. I wish I was there. Oh, yeah. All, all the BFGs will be mine. Ah, dude, later on, there's a, there's a fucking, there's a PDA from Frank Z. Okay. Shit, yeah. Um, I'm lost, Ken. Where do I go? Oh, enter access Search code. your feelings. I, I have another access code I need to use. 463. Because the website doesn't exist for MartianBuddy.com anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so up close, I really kicked the art child's ass. Learn to scroll on the asshole. Not even... Alright, I'm exiting Delta Labs too. Yay. It's over. It's all over. Come back in, Ken. I can, I can come back?